Lunch break. Make sure we're live on both places. Hello, everybody! It's your boy Christian Knight. For the longest time, we haven't been on the air, live wise. But you're back here now at the uh, at your favorite show, lunch break. And of course, as I said before, with your fairy boy, it's Christian Knight. And if you see from the title up above somewhere, or down here uh, in post up, whatever, um, we are making cheeseburger hot dogs. And I know you might be telling yourself, how the hell can we do that? Well, if you stay tuned, you'll find out how to do that. All right, all right. So I'm gonna sit you down right here. And of course, you know people in Instagram over there can't see me do that. Um, so you can see all the action. So we are here today on lunch break, and let me just make sure. We are live, by the way. We are live. I know. I know we're live because I can see it over there. And oh, I think they went up. Oh, let me. You know what? Let me. I can see those, right? Oh Lord. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna make everybody hungry today because, like I said, this is the most simplest thing you can make. And if you watch from our previous episodes, you know how to make ground beef into whatever you need to make it into hot dogs, meatballs, all that stuff. So we're gonna do that same type of combination, but this time. We're making them into hot dogs. Mm-hmm. You know it. Hot dogs. All right? So, the first things you guys are going to need in order to make this, as, as always, is the ingredients that are over there. But before that, let's get our nice dandy, <laughs> nice dandy official apron on after we do what? We wash our hands. So let's wash our hands first, people. Because that's what you should always do before you touch any type of foods and before you put present. Oh yeah. You know this. You know this. This is what must happen. Put you that way. What up, Hasmary? What up, Andre? What up, Jolie? Damn, this is mad people watching. I can't, like I said, I can't see who goes on from here. So I gotta turn to the laptop so I can see who's live with me. Oh, snap. You guys must be hungry if you're watching me. I'm about to cook. <laughs> Alright, let me make sure I put you this way so you can see. Alright, so now let's put on our favorite dandy little official apron to lunch break. Who's on our apron? Hey, what up, you? What's up? I know, man. Even a lot of people, people coming live on. Yes, we are making, if you're just tuning in, anybody from anywhere. Oh, smack, do we? Yo, what the hell, man? What are you doing responding, man? You should be here. Um, We are making, now I forgot, cheeseburger hot dogs. Yes, cheeseburger hot dogs. All right? And I'm going to put you down so you can see the action. Let me put all the stuff over here. I'm telling everybody on Instagram. So, <laughs> Jesus. So the first thing you're going to need, of course, is your ground beef. Bam. Mm. Mm. I know, right? Let's just stop doing that. Um, you're gonna need cheese because it's cheeseburger hot dogs. Those are cheese. And then the rest of the stuff that we need is basically the ingredients we're gonna put into our mix of the ground beef to make into our burgers. Which I forgot one ingredient, by the way. There. I think a dag. So, without further ado. Let's get our nice big bowl. Right here, no, 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 no. bowls. And mind you, I've prepared everything beforehand, so in this way, um, what? Okay, TD, be safe. <laughs> um, so this way we can start doing our stuff, what we gotta do, so no one has to wait for me to do it, right? Oh my god. Let me see. Oh my God, there's mad people. Okay, so people, let me now hold you up so you can watch lunch break at its best. <laughs> oh my God. So, we're gonna take our ground beef, open the sucker up, and just literally pile this big massive thing into here. Look at that, boom. Okay, you're done. Thank you everybody for watching. <laughs> 
All right, so we got the ground beef in here, and for this episode, we've actually brought in a spatula, wooden spatula, yay! Okay, let's do it for that. So, the next thing I'm gonna add to this, and let me just squish this down a little bit. There we go. So this way, you can actually see it a little bit better, right? So you're gonna add, basically, one tablespoon of parsley. Parsley. You're gonna add one tablespoon of onion powder. Bam. You're gonna add also one tablespoon of garlic powder. You're gonna add one tablespoon of black pepper. Okay. Uh, you're gonna add one egg. One egg, one egg. Now mind you, the amount of egg you add into this has to do with how much pounds of ground beef you make or even if it's turkey or chicken okay so more than two add two you know every time you get to at least one pound add one egg so this is like one half and one pound and a half so we're just gonna add one egg we don't need that much for it right on perfect cut right mm. okay Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add a cup of breadcrumb. Okay, a cup of breadcrumb. Now all this, you're gonna mix together very nicely. Make sure you evenly spread all the ingredients. Make sure all of it gets covered. And mind you, you can do this ahead of time at home. I'm just showing you that you can do this during your lunch break at work, if you want to. And I'm only doing this much, only because there's gonna be a lot of us, but you can always tailor this to you. So you don't have to make this much for yourself unless you're gonna eat literally two pounds almost of ground beef. Why are you doing that? Really, why, why? Like, people on Instagram, why would you do that, really? Okay, so continue to mix this thoroughly, and please do not be cheap. You want to make sure every little grain, right? Grain, it's ground beef, it's not grain, um, gets covered in their ingredients. And this will require a little bit of muscle. See, as if you can see, our nice little ground beef is getting mixed in with the ground, ground, I was going to say ground, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, parsley flake, and black pepper, and the egg and bread crust. Okay, so now you must be thinking to yourself, okay, whatever, you did the ground beef, you mixed in all your ingredients, you got your stuff, how do you turn these guys, <laughs> how do you turn these guys, what? <laughs> How can you turn these guys into hot dogs? That's basically why you guys came on the show to watch, right? How do we do that? Well, it's very simple. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. We forgot one more thing because this is supposed to be cheeseburger hot dogs. You have to add in the cheese. Okay. Let's pull this down a little bit so we can put in the cheese. Now, you're going to put at least maybe half a cup. You don't have to put that much into this. I just know. I'm having a whole time trying to put this out of here. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna use the same cup, this is one cup by the way, that I use for the breadcrumbs to put in the cheese. You know, this is like the most hardest thing to do. Unless you pre-plan it. I didn't do that. But this is live. So this way you get to see stuff as it happens. There you go. What is live with this? Oh my aunt's on! Hey wanna! Some beer! Alright, so you're gonna take a half a cup of cheese and put it with your meat. Exactly, right? Family show, people's family show. 
And then you just mix that in thoroughly like you did before with the other stuff. There we go. So now it becomes part of your nice little mixture over here. Yeah. Remember people, muscle, muscle. <laughs> All right, so that's thoroughly nice and spread into each other. Now, back to where we were before. How are we gonna turn these into hot dogs? Who has the idea? If you've seen from my posting before on my Facebook, you kind of guessed how I'm gonna do that, right? How I'm gonna get accomplished. Now, if you're at home, you can do this, and basically I'm gonna do it here at work for lunch break, so you can see it done. All you need, I need this one no more. All you need is a bottle. Now, I already went ahead, cleaned this, gutted it, and cut it open. This used to be a soda bottle. What soda doesn't really matter, that's not the point. So you cut any type of water bottle or soda bottle or even the two liter bottles of soda and you cut it out. The next thing you're gonna need is basically something to push out what we're gonna do with it. Now, we're going to do that and put that in here. And then, we're gonna utilize skewers to actually cook our cheeseburger hot dogs. So let me get a plate. So this is where once we start doing that, we can do that. So what you're going to do is you're gonna take a nice little spread here and start putting it into the box. There we go. There we go. Don't be shy. Like I said, this is all... You could be doing this, like I said, at home, at work, if you can, or pre-plan it, and then just bring it, if you have a grill at work, and do it at work. But this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna stuff this bottle with the ground beef, because if I say a different word, we're gonna have people laugh. This is gonna be laughing. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna scrape some of this off so we can have something to work with. There we go. All right, so now that we have the bottle filled to a certain point, okay, push it to the side. I'm gonna use my cup. I'm gonna lay down the cutting board so we don't make a mess. Right? Put it like this, and then I'm gonna put this just like that. We're gonna open this side, so we can allow the meat to come out, and we're just gonna push down. And as we're pushing down, I don't think this is gonna be strong enough. It might not be strong enough. Let's see. Cause actually it's gonna start coming out. So what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna switch to this one. Yeah, oh yeah, much better. Oh yeah, look at that, much better grip. All right, so now, once we start doing that, let's try to do the skewers. We're gonna utilize our skewers, right in the middle, and go to town. Look at that. So we're gonna go that much, right? And then we are going to go ahead and cut this. Bam! All right. One. These cues are a bit long, longer than normal. <laughs> so there you go. So now. All we gotta do, now mind you, if you were doing this at home, it'd probably be a little bit easier if you had the proper utensils, but we're not doing this at home. We're doing this live on lunch break for the first time so you can see the magic. 
Because I'm pretty sure there's other things that we can utilize to push this meat through. Oh, yeah. All right. So, do it again. Pop it right there. And then, there are skewers. Alright, so let's get this out. Right. Now we're only having a little bit of a problem, only because this has a hollow end right there, see? You can see it? So we had something more better and easier, we're going to have to go through this, right? So let's put this more. Also, method and way to test out stuff we see on YouTube or wherever it is that you watch it. Sous chef right here. The sous chef could be cut this right there. Alright. But the sous chef will be here soon. Just to let you know. Let's see if it cleans up. Alright. That's where we put this here so this way we don't create a mess. Oh, Smack, what a Colin, what a James! <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> let's empty this one out a little bit. Put some more in here. Because we're going to go to as, see how much we can make. Always first, that's the first thing you should do before you start making it come out because it actually will come out with the skewer, and at least it will retain its shape once it does come out. Inside this. Oh god, who else was on with us? Okay, we still left. Just making sure we're still alive and everyone's watching. Oh my god, I can't. So much stuff going on. Right, go. Oh, skewers, skewers. Alright. Alright. 
If I was the max, we could put our one plate. Because once you squeeze this, it's basically going to push the uh, ground beef out and the skewer at the same time. So, look at that. That actually was very perfect. Look at that. Mm. Alright, so, let's move this out. Set up for a second. And whatever excess meat is left over, you can actually make it into whatever you want. So, you still here watching? Everybody's still watching? All right, all right. Let's put a little more in there. There we go. All right. It's like I'm. Literally putting together ice cream or something. That's what it reminds me of. Like, hey, we're making ice cream. Here, here you go. Here's your ice cream bowl. Here, take it. Go ahead, take it. Here, take it. Alright. Uh, Alright. Put that right there. Alright, the next ones are ready. Alright. So, as always, first thing skewer. And to go, and then just squeeze the life out. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I guess we're getting perfect at doing this now, right? All right. First one was our trial set, right? All right, skewer. Put this down. Insert. And then watch the magic. Hey, <laughs> we mastered it. Look at that. We already became masters at this. Look at that. That is hilarious. All right. Uh, let's see. But that's what happens when you finally get your act together, right? right. Look, we only have a little bit left now. Yeah, only a little bit left. <laughs> All right, let's put in the last bit in here. All right, so we're gonna do, I think we're gonna do 10. I think 10 should be good. That was the last bit, actually. There is no more in the bowl. Literally. It, the bowl is empty. All right. So we're gonna take this. All right. Take our skewer. All right. Insert the skewer, and then just push down. <laughs> Look at this thing still amazing. Oh man, this thing is still amazing. <laughs> Yo, who would have thought you could do that with this? Like literally, who would have thought that? That's insane. That literally is insane. Okay. Hey Jennifer, what up? Alright. Insert this right in here. And then we push through. And Alright. Perfect. Alright. 
Uh, let's do something. This should be enough. What I'll do is get this one here. So we can get. There we go. A little bit more. This is the one that was shortened a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do is whatever is remaining over, which is a lot actually. Uh, let's see something. Maybe, don't go in. Nice. All right. So. Ooh, look at that. We crushed the crew. We crushed the. <laughs> we crushed the. We got the cup. Right. So what I'm gonna do with this one is because we crushed the cup. Put this here so. Mind you, people, live. This is live, so you can see mistakes happens, right? I'm gonna throw this one out. And we're going to use two of these cups. And this way, the rest of this. There we go. We'll come out. There we go. What we're going to do is just. There we go. Just roll it. So we say, ta da! All right. So, and then with the remaining that's left, I think we're just gonna make a patty out of it. All right. Nice little patty for ourselves. How about that? All right. So we're gonna put this to the side for now. But as you can see, you definitely can use a bottle to make hot dogs. All right. Now, moving on to the next. We're gonna wash your hands first. We're gonna put this in here. Put some water on it to be clean later. All right. Hands. Let's bring out our grill. Yes, we use this to, for the grease catcher. All right, perfect. All right, let that warm up. So, as you can see so far, are you soft so far? We were to make at least uh, what is it, six, seven, eleven skewers. I mean, we had something that we could push the rest of it out, and we would have had twelve. So that put you there, let that warm up. Mm. 
they are a little parched. Oh. What's that? Sorry, you want to cough on I'm live, so. Uh, all right, so we're getting this to heat up right now. We got those ready to go. Oh, smack is Mr. Ruben. Lunch break. <laughs> Lunch break. Uh-oh, who's watching stuff? Hello. Now, we're just waiting for this to heat up. Do, do, do. Oh, you know what? I'll push it a little bit more this way. Now. Once we start this up, we gotta get. Alright. Alright, just putting some stuff away. Oh, this thing's almost ready. Now, once these things start to cook, we're gonna need our hot dogs, bread, to put them on together. So, put you over here, right there. You can say both of y'all can see the action. <laughs> um, <laughs> Deuce, Andrea says she missed you. You didn't say hi to her. I did, I did say hi to her. <laughs> I said hi on the um, <laughs> But what up, Andrea? What's up? So, Heard you in my neck of the woods anyway. I might run into you. Right, so this is ready. So let's stick these guys in here. Huh? What do you mean? Oh no, those are hot dog burgers. Yeah, these are these are hot dogs. Hot dogs. These are. Dude, come up with some stuff. These are time, these man. are cheeseburger hot dogs. You like a mad scientist, man. Who would have thought of that? Yeah, these are cheeseburger hot dogs. People usually don't do this, right? No. You made this up, right? No. Okay, I'm about to say, I, I, I'm about to act you with this, like a Spanish thing, but... No, no, I just, I made this on the fly today. Yeah, you're a mad scientist. <laughs> and you put it in a shish kebab? Or are you yeah. going to take it off and so put it in the So, basically what we did, we missed it. Well, we missed it. Did you see it? Nah, because I was going in there. Alright, so what we did is that we did half a bottle of a soda. And like? we... <laughs> a bottle of a soda. <laughs> we use half a bottle of a soda to stick all the ground beef into it. Oh, right? oh, 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 I thought you mean you pour soda in the no, ground beef. No. I'm about to say, I don't think I want that. No. No. I don't know about that. So what we did is that we took uh, a soda bottle, uh -huh. even if it's a tuna or whatever, and we utilized it to make our hot dog shaped cheeseburger. Okay, I got you. So we put all the ground beef in here, like that. we utilized something to push it out, and we use the skewers to hold it in place. Okay. So this way, the ground so beef doesn't get cut all over the place. Yeah. Right. So while it's cooking, right, which gotcha. we should put the timer. Well, five minutes, right? Yes. I did, however, notice that um, one of the ingredients is a garlic. <laughs> yes, because our show always uses garlic, apparently, so, for every single episode. You cannot do this show without having garlic <laughs> in, the, in, the, in, the, in all the food. And Jerry said yay, and yes, he said mad scientist. <laughs> mad scientist. <laughs> Listen, you gotta come down one time for this lunch break, you know. Oh yeah, it works. So, uh, so yeah, so basically the same thing that we did on any every episode. I couldn't those names. I don't know if I can use it, but I, I took out some comments. Okay. Okay. You so, trying to, you trying to use words? <laughs> you trying to show people that you know words? <laughs> no, because <laughs> I was trying to see if you were going to think I said something different. No, no, I know it wasn't called doubles. Family show, man. Well, actually, technically, no. That, that's, yeah, I agree. Right. That's good for family. So. <laughs> you don't want one. That's, oh, my God. <laughs> Please do not. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> anyway, um, so, yeah. So, basically, the same thing that we normally do for any other episodes that we prepared the ground beef with. Right. Which is the garlic, the onion, parsley, the black pepper, 
the breadcrumbs and oh, breadcrumbs also? egg. Breadcrumbs also? And egg? Right. Oh, egg to hold, hold it together? Right, to bind it. And, and what, the bread breadcrumbs, what, just to give it's it? It's to give it a little bit of uh, texture. Texture? Okay. I gotta take a picture of that. Oh my god, you smell that? It smells excellent. Oh my god. That's fat. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Put it, put it oh, right. Yeah, because I can't take a picture. <laughs> I definitely can't take it. You got to send me those pictures. Okay. No problem. Mm. So, oh, and this time around, like I said, your cheeseburger. You, got, you put cheese on it? There's cheese inside it. You put cheese inside Okay, you explain how you do that. So, the same method, and then we just added a couple of cheese into it while we mix it. Shred cheese? Mm hmm. Okay, I'm about to say, you can't, you're going to be able to use. Oh. Well, you would have to cut it into like many tiny pieces. But yeah. No, actually, the shredded cheese actually works better. So, what is that? Uh, this down here? Yes. So, it's like a four cheese blend, I think? Yeah, four cheese blend. That's the way like it's sharp, so white. Yellow, brown. Yep. Mozzarella or. Alright, now, this is the big question. How much is always cold? Um, actually, no lie, um, it came out to 12 bucks. Okay, that's kind of, kind of high. Well, no, well, no, well, no, 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 really, no, because if you go to the food truck, you're going to spend 6 bucks. Well, no, think about if it. You go the to ground beef, Wendy's, you're going to spend that. The thing is, the ground, I got 16 and you bought hot bread. dogs, you bought 18 bread. hot dogs, hot dog breads, I'm sorry, 18 hot dog breads, about 12... Uh, hot sauce made out of um, the ground beef, right? Okay, so this is not right? the typical, right? So, you for yourself, this right. is for everybody, yeah. yeah so, I mean, yeah, so the, how much for yourself would be a whole lot less. I mean, if you cut this in between what, like five people, it's not even like almost two, three, yeah. three dollars. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. It's basically, you would be paying the same amount, but you're getting more out of it. Yeah, you made it <laughs> he said it's like a Spanish thing. Not tiny, no. I've never seen it before. <laughs> hey, listen. I mean, they do have at 7 Eleven, they do have um, cheeseburger hot dogs. At 7 Eleven? Yeah. But, huh? yeah. They have weird space things. I'm just saying, who are you at 7 Eleven? Bro, you and DMX. Y'all don't want to die. <laughs> my, my cousin, my cousin, uh, Billy Ray. Billy Ray Valentine. Listen, they got something that's called red hot pepper or something. Yeah, this thing you can buy a pizza or all that thing for something. You'll buy a chicken. Uh -oh. Listen, all I know way, is this. <laughs> well, listen, the weird people are the ones who make everything, right? No, but I mean, hey, I guess it helps. Because uh, I, I never heard this before. Um, I'm anxious to see how it looks when it's done. Probably gonna look like a cheeseburger in no, I'm saying, I wanna see the I wanna see the look. I wanna see it. Exactly. Alright, so Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh 23 seconds. But you guys can you smell that? Oh my god. It does smell real good though. Yeah. Do you see my room? No. <laughs> <laughs> the sous chef will be right back. Oh, uh, <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Yeah, you is Ooh, look at that. That looks pretty good. It looks like almost like sausage. Pretty much. So see how oh. this the skewer <laughs> allows you to see? Hold it. <laughs> I can't. I can't no more. I said Something pause. I, I said pause, homeboy. Oh, this looks really. This looks really good, though. And the cheese is in the inside, correct? The cheese is already inside. That's crazy. All right. All right. So I'm gonna take these out. Put them over here. Yeah. Fully cooked. Right there. Yeah, fully cooked. Throw this one off another five minutes, right? Yep. Right. And the grooves in the grill. Oh, so it fits nice and perfectly. Allows you it to. Have, you do that on purpose? 
Well, no, they're hot dogs, so I'm eating they're okay. in the shape of hot dogs, so. No, because you could have made them a little, if it would have been bigger than it would have been. True. And they were, uh, yeah. Oh, man, I'm out. Hey, yo, come here, man. Hey, yo. Pause again, man. I, I, I don't know why I keep saying this stuff. I'm having a problem with today, man. Hey, yo, come here, man. Hey, yo. 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 Hey, yo, See, look, all you gotta do, bam. Look at that. Let me check, let me try one. Bam, bam, put it in there, set it in there so you can uh, take a picture of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all over there cracking up, too. Man. They dying over there. Oh, man. Presentation right there. This is bad. Oh, yeah, no, do it over here. <laughs> all right, let's see. Nice. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, no. Put some ketchup on it. So I can look. Huh? So I can look nice. Hold up. <laughs> that didn't work. What? I, yo, I'm telling you, I'm having, I'm having issues today, man. I'm oh, sorry, that's an accident. <laughs> Why would I do that? Yo, and I did it. Yo, and I did it on the camera too. And I did it on the camera. I apologize to the kids. I'm sorry. That was an accident. Oh, I had to walk off the camera. Now that one killed me. I was dying on that my one. My bad, my bad, my bad, y'all. My bad. I'm fucking I was dying on that one. Hey, Lisa. Oh, my God, I can't. I'm tripping out today, you, man. Dude, I can't. You, you got me on that one today. I'm tripping out today. All right, let me just take some more real fast. Hey, right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go, oh, do, go do your lunch, man. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't. Oh, my God, I can't. I know, I get tricked the same yeah. way. <laughs> In his um, mumbling, hungry words, mm -hmm. it is delicious. It tastes good. It's lunch break delicious. What are you saying? <laughs> Excellent. So, can you change the cheese? Can you change the garlic, the onions? What do you taste? I taste the um, onions and garlic. A little bit. Mm -hmm. I can't taste the cheese yet. I think I see a piece right there. So I think the cheese might be slowed down there. Yeah, the cheese was like magically blended into this no, ground beef so nicely that I didn't even notice it, it was in it. It tastes really good. Okay. Oh, wow. Tastes like and look at that. That was like the most simplest recipe right there. I gotta do this for yourself. This is really good. And it was mass simple. You're welcome. Mass simple. And I just thought about it today. <laughs> oh, you didn't, like, have, you didn't have the plan? No. Yeah. Man, like two hours or an hour in, I was like, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. Mass simple. I mean, we had some trouble in the beginning learning how to do it because, hey, wow. we're not masters of it. But then we mastered it and we made those nice six ones. Mm -hmm. That would have come good for me, Phil. <laughs> oh, this one's almost done. It still has a minute left. This is kind of good, yeah? Huh? Enough to give you the items. So you have to eat the second one, you're done. Next one, one spike burger. Mm -hmm. Which is, by the way, if you guys want to see, look. Look at that, all that grease that came out of that. Like literally, look at all that grease. And if you see it, that's how they came out from the actual physical units look, 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 of the grease. But the one that you um, took off the plate, there's yep. no grease stain. Craziness, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, straight down. Oh, man. And that's basically it. all you have to do, folks. Is if you saw it in the beginning, it's delicious. <laughs> when we made it. <laughs> oh, what up, CC? I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm not paying attention to everybody. This is where I need a social media person in my suit shop. It's like everybody's coming in from all over the place. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 
Look at that. <laughs> Anybody can do this. Like I said, you can also pre-plan this at home if you needed to. Because I'm cooking for more than one person. You can obviously make this and do it in less time than you have to do it. Or especially if you just do it two of these, you'll be done in like not even... Yeah, pretty much. All right, us. I mean, it only takes five minutes to grill it. So if you already had them in that way, and you put it on the grill, so then you're set. Mashing them up, putting them on the thing, mm -hmm. that's about two to three minutes. Yeah. You're on the grill for 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, well five, five minutes. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. Literally, look at that. I just realized the uh, Instagram looked like it froze. Instagram usually when that never works. Okay, Instagram froze. Oh, smack with a thin! Well, Benny! Look, look, man, you guys are missing this. Look, look. Cheeseburger hot dogs. Cheeseburger hot dogs. Look, look, look. Oh, nice. shit. I was just about to show you the hot dog you already ate. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all you gotta do is stick one of these. Stick one of these right there. Take the skewer out, which is easy to remove. And then use whatever condiments you want. <laughs> and then that's it. Literally. Bam! Right there. That's basically it. So let me remove these guys. I'll put this there. And that's basically it, people. Look at it. No harm, no foul, nothing more, nothing less. I don't know how even more to tell you. This was basically an easy thing to do. I know it wasn't easy, it was for the <laughs> Um, actually, hmm. Can we do that? Mmm. Cannoli stuck cannoli. Cannoli stuck cannoli. Really enjoy it. <laughs> Listen, Dan already got me with the stuffed lentils, okay? Uh-uh. Just take these off. There we go. Put these there. And that was it. Put that there. That was basically it. So we took ground beef, we put. <laughs> not ketchup, hot peppers. <laughs> we took ground beef, we uh, mixed it with <laughs> garlic powder, onion powder, parsley flake. I'm still thinking about what you just said. Um, breadcrumbs, one egg, and shredded cheese. Mix that all together, and then utilize <laughs> utilized, um, half a bottle to create the shape of the hot dog for the cheeseburger hot dogs. Use the skewer to hold it in place, and <clears throat> basically pull them out, and then grill it. Once they grill, on this grill, which takes about five minutes per side, so it's basically just five minutes, or basically if you're doing a skillet, it takes 10 minutes to five minutes for each side. Um, on here, there's a grill on both sides. So it'll take five minutes, take that out, put it on a hot dog bread, and then go to town and hire what you want to do it. <laughs> and then that's it. You got your cheeseburger hot dog. Look, 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 look. i just show you again. Cheeseburger hot dog. Bam, cheeseburger hot dog. Like literally. Okay? It came out just like this. Okay? Just like this. Cheeseburger hot dog. Literally. Cheeseburger hot dogs. <laughs> I know, right? No nobody else came down, right? I still got more left. Um, and that's it, people. That's all you gotta do for your cheeseburger hot dogs. 
Nothing more, nothing less. So, as we always say here at lunch break, show the bottom you. Um, sure. Just don't get bad where I get it from. <laughs> If I can find it. There you go. So this was the bottle we used. I'm covering it right here. See? Put all the ground beef in there. Made it come out right there. Use the skewer to hold it in place, basically. And to hold the shape in the form. And then that was it. Then all you gotta do is put it on the grill. But basically you can use this, uh, you can use a 20 fluid ounce bottle uh, you can use a two-liter bottle; it doesn't really matter. What matters is the method you use to actually push it out. That is what's the the most important part that you need. All right. So, and then once you're done, you got your food. <laughs> so, everybody, thank you for watching lunch break. Thank you for lunch being break. here. <laughs> and as we say, don't settle for less. Make it your best. It's delicious, people. <laughs> Thank you for watching Lunch Break, everybody. Catch you later. Lunch Break. like a totally normal day. Mom! Okay, move objection deadline to the third line after survey. Oh, honey, for, for when you are, you always use the verb this star. What are you doing down there? Did you finish your breakfast? Ow. Whew. Don't hit your brother. <laughs> honey, you have to eat something. Here. Okay, five minutes to carpool. Where's my coffee? Mm. You okay, Mom? Oh, I'm fine. Sandwich orders. What do you want? Almond butter and jelly. Spaghetti. Oh, you sure you're okay? I'm fine, sweetie. I am so late. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Uh, hey, honey. Hmm. You okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Oh, yeah. Here. Acai, my favorite. Mm. See you guys later. Bye. Where are your shoes? Put your shoes back on, please. You know, go help your sister. We're going in three minutes. Oh my God, what am I doing? I forgot to cut off the crust. Voila, shoes on, potty if you need it. Honey, get your sister. Okay, get your shoes. Nobody move. I'm getting a dustpan. Oh, mom. I think you're having a heart attack. Honey, do I look like the type of person who has a heart attack? <laughs> I'm just gonna sit down. <sighs> I'm totally fine. Don't forget to wear the high socks with the shin guards. Forget about the shin guards, <gasps> Mom. Come on, Mrs. Underdog is not gonna wait. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> I think I might be having a little heart attack. <laughs> Nothing really, just some nausea, tightening of the jaw, dizziness, shortness of breath, muscle pain, achiness, this terrible pressure in my chest. Oh, really? They can be here in how long? <gasps> Two minutes. 
Can you make it 10? I thought I had gas. Turns out, I was having a heart attack. Heart disease is the number one killer of American women. So now I take care of my heart and I tell the women in my life to do the same. Sounds great, by the way. That's nice, sweetie, but that's not my heart. That is. Make it your mission to save your life and the lives of the women you love. Find out more from the American Heart Association at goredforwomen.org. Vaping is like safer than Vaping is safe safer than safer than safer than I yeah. it's not my first time bartending, so it's a sausage party in here. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm very familiar. Yeah, because you're a sexy girl, Sam. Last thing, totally last thing, yeah. is that the music, when Momo kicks it into high gear, is going to get a little bit loud in here. Mm -hmm. So your customers are going to have a hard time hearing you. So you may want to. What? Make sure they don't get too If you love them enough to relearn math so you can teach them math, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. Strawberries? Okay.